it arrived. <clears throat> so this is a solid state Tesla coil driver board that I ordered from China. Uh, it took about a month to get here and um, actually looks uh, a lot smaller than I thought but um, I, it did arrive just in time because I did just blow out all my IGBTs on my bigger Tesla coil. So this would be um, quite useful for the for the time. So I'm just gonna crack straight into this. Okay. So. Also, I hope you uh, enjoy the premium camera quality upgrade. Cost me a lot. So we're just gonna open this up. We're now an unboxing channel. Here it is. Pretty well packaged, it looks like. In an anti static bag, of course. Only the most premium from China. They uh, do include a feedback transformer here. This little thing. Yeah. I, um. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I can't. I can't really focus this. Um. Because I have a bit of a peculiar setup where I've taped my camera to my tripod because I don't have the right fitting for it. Here, let's try this. Nah, I'm not really getting anywhere. Um, okay. Well, anyways, they include that, and here's the actual board. So it's a full bridge. We got four IRFP 460s. Um, so two um, gate drive transformers. It's all SMD for the drivers, the driver components. Um, got some pots here. And you can put audio in. Um, that's straight audio, not MIDI. So I'm guessing this is um, going to be constant wave, um, um, but these are duty cycle and frequency controls. So <clears throat> um, I could modulate it that way. Got a fuse holder here. Um, this is voltage in, so that's the input. And this is out to the primary, and this I believe is feedback. Okay. Let's get it hooked up. So the first step uh, is going to be getting power to it. Um, so I'm going to use uh, this uh, jumper right here. Well, not jumper, but connector. This is um, for high voltage in input. So camera really I, I untaped it but it still is not very good at focusing or maybe I just don't know how to use it all right well anyways I'm gonna be using uh, this it does have a barrel jack over here we can use 12 to 24 volts um, but but I'll be using this one um, but currently my power supply is broken so I've had to come up with a solution and this is my solution I have my Variac here, and I have it going through a full bridge rectifier. Um, I also blew my full bridge rectifier, wherever that is. I, I don't know where it is right now, um, but but I blew it. So I, I, I could probably find a higher power one, but I, I didn't bother. I just, these are just some diodes that I twisted the leads on. And it works well enough. I just put a capacitor across there. Now if I turn that on, turn the variac on, turn the variac up, the voltage goes up, and um, it works well. And uh, sure. how about we, uh, how about we just uh, 
because that wasn't very much. Usually it's bigger, but uh, yeah, it's a tiny capacitor. But but this will work um, properly and give me the, the right um, output power. But these are 1N4007 diodes that um, can only do one amp. So I can't push more than one amp. Um, that's why I should probably have like a module full bridge um, rectifier. I had one of them, I blew it. Um, I, I still have more, but I think I pull them out of boards and whatever. And that's annoying. So um, I'm just gonna get it hooked up to power and we'll uh, go from there. Okay, so we've gotten somewhere already. We, um, I've identified that the driver does in fact work. As we'll plug in nine volts DC. See that is a blinking light. There we go. And you might not be able to hear it. Let me turn the duty cycle up. You might just might be able to hear the GDTs clicking. I'll turn the frequency up. You see the lights going quicker. I can hear them audibly vibrating so I know that um, those work and um, we should be good to uh, hook it up to a coil as I have the power in it right now I'm not supplying anything I'm just supplying the logic circuit but this is the output and um, I'm gonna hook it up to the coil okay so I've got everything assembled here we got the feedback from the secondary going through the feedback transformer. That's just straight from the secondary to ground over there. And um, power, I'm putting about 80 volts max. That's that's what I've put in already. Um, and let's uh, let's try it out. So that there we go. That's that's 80. You can't really see anything, but if I turn up the duty cycle. see something and this damn camera won't focus there it goes come on anyways turn the duty cycle down turn the frequency up well it works now I'm gonna switch out the coil for a smaller one and we can test um, that Awesome. 